Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be trying to install a wig. If you know me, you know this is probably something I'm not going to be so good at because I'm really bad at following directions. I like to just do my own thing and see how it goes. But this is a really expensive wig so I can't just see how it goes because I don't want to ruin it. So I will be following a tutorial that I found online and I'll just kind of put that on the screen so you guys can see what I'm doing and I'm going to just get right into it. So what I just saw her do is put the wig cap on and I am just going to follow that. This looks really tiny to fit on someone's head though, but oh, and my hair's in a little bun at the back. I don't know how I'm going to hide it. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, it's two different caps. <laughs> that might be why. Okay. I'm gonna pull it over my ear. So I feel like I'm gonna chop into my ears. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's what she did. The cap shredded. Is that supposed to happen? Am I supposed to spray that much? The longer it takes to dry, but um, the more free spray you do use. I mean, she's spraying a lot, so I think I... Now I'm just about to blow dry it, but I'm going to do that part off camera because who wants to watch somebody blow dry their hair? Putting, I guess, face powder, I don't know, on the cap, which makes sense. And But this is not even my face, but this is too dark for my skin. This is my mom's. So I'm just going to use a little bit. I don't even know if I should use it at all, but whatever. Just a little bit to make it this cap. I mean, this cap actually looks like my actual scalp color, so maybe not so much. Where are the free squares? feel safe this feels like a disaster because i really think i'm gonna somehow end up cutting my skin or something and this scissors is like busted and i repaired it with hot glue i don't think she did that hang on okay so okay Oh, my sideburns were not supposed to be exposed. That means I did it wrong. Wait, nope, I'm saving it. I think I'm saving it. Nope, sideburns are still out. Cut too much. Oh, God. Whatever. Whatever. Do I just cut this? Flat against my forehead, she said. How do you cut with, this is some, this is not making sense for somebody whose sideburns comes all the way out to like their chin. I mean, it's still not an absolute disaster, right? Okay. Oh, this doesn't look that bad actually. part is not supposed to be just out okay more glue ah you just want to turn your scissors and lay them flat on your head and cut the reveling part off but if you just like must That's the mistake I literally just made, so. But it's not sliding. I mean, it's already a mess, look at this. But I'm not really caring about the entire frontal anyway. It's really just this part that's gonna show, so. 
Okay, so the wig is sort of on my head now. Yeah, it's pretty much, okay, I think that's where it's supposed to be, so let's move on. Houston, we have a problem. I think this is the wrong tutorial. I don't think this is the actual tutorial that I watched the first time when I bought the other glue. But I have seen this one before. So now I'm like left in the blue and there's like hair in my eye and I'm kind of in a pickle. This hair does look good on me though. Just imagine it actually slayed. I love the color. I love the color so much. Also, don't forget to watch to the end because I have a coupon for this website. Oh. This is not supposed to look like that. I can see the line. Am I supposed to? I'm not supposed to see the line. Mercy. I mean, I did what she said. So I'm using this paintbrush hairbrush thingamajigger. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to use. This thing has almost ran out from it being used for other things. But whatever, right? YOLO. Maybe I should just do glueless, like a no cap. No cap, that's funny. But like do like a wig without the cap installation because it's not like I know what I'm doing anyway. And I'm kind of just messing my skin up with this. And this is probably gonna rip my hairline out from not doing it right. Not to mention ruining a $200 wig. And I'm not, I don't know if I'm in for that. What is that? Is that hair? That is hair. Okay. Okay guys, I think I got it. This is not a tutorial, just FYI, just in case you haven't figured it out yet. This is me struggling to follow an actual tutorial, which I found the wrong tutorial, which that's not a bad tutorial. It's just like, uh, I'm not on her level yet. Let's just say that. Okay. 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 Yeah. I'm like totally screwed. Okay. So I used a wet wipe to get some of that glue off my face and I was like, you know, I probably shouldn't do this video, but I'm already, like, knee in, so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue on to my hair now. And, oh yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna go off my head and hope that I'm doing this right because I have watched a lot of YouTube videos so you would think I would know how to do this by now well it's quite obvious that I don't but like I said I was gonna cut the wig anyway I gotta cut the thing off so What? What in the world? <laughs> what did I do? I am so out of it. Like, I cannot. I am just, I am beyond help at this point this is a beautiful wig nonetheless like i'm just gonna do this without the glue so i'm probably gonna get off camera and do it the way i done it in the past without the cap and all that i just i'm not a cap girl i really wanted to try to do this but <laughs> i give up i give up <laughs> it's not supposed to look like this i don't know I just cut some more off in the mirror and it's starting to look better so I think I'm going to continue. I'm just going to blow dry this side so it sticks down. It's like so much easier when I don't do this on camera because I feel like I'm not actually like trying to do it right and I'm just doing it and hoping for the best and I feel like that actually looks better than me trying to do it on camera because I don't know what I'm doing again. It's even harder for me to do it when I'm in this camera so I'm gonna blow dry this side and then do the same thing on this side turns out I went to do the other side and I'm still looking crazy 
this was a disaster. I guess I'm gonna fix it without the cap. Okay, so I got it on my head without the wig cap or anything. I just figured it wasn't working out as you guys can see. Oh, got the clip stuck in there, okay. But it's literally just my real hair underneath. I put a little bit of face powder on it and I just slapped it on my head. I mean, I put, I put my hair in too, so there would be a part exactly where this part is. So it would actually be skin underneath. So it wouldn't just be, oh, that was gross. So it wouldn't just be covering my skin. Um, yeah, so it's on my head. It's actually on my head now and it looks better. I mean, I cut along the line. I mean, I'm not gluing it down. I refuse to glue it down because it's not like right here is going to show anyway. The way I'm doing it is literally just going to be like this. So the sides aren't going to show, so I don't need it to be like that. And then there's clips to secure the front parts. I just haven't put them in because that's just going to make my head hurt right now. And this is just for the video. So I'm just going to style this. I guess I could video while I style this real quick. So I have this brush thing. It's heated up a little bit. Um, and this is not meant for this, but my sister is gone and she has the curling iron, you know, perks of having sisters. So I gotta use this. Oh, that actually worked. Kind of, not really. I'm really doing this just to get rid of some of the frizz, but it's not really working either. Say I did have it glued down, it would actually look really nice because I did cut it really well. Like hairline wise, and it is a very nice wig. Ooh, that was kind of cute for a second. But it is a very nice wig, like, nonetheless. It's very, very nice. I'm just not a wig installer person. And, I mean, these YouTube tutorials, I make it look so easy because these girls are, half of them are professionals. Some kind of professional in the beauty industry. And then the other half just has done it a million times before. And then I come on here trying to wing it, thinking I'm going to make it look good and nope although this wasn't really meant to be a tutorial anyway it was me seeing if I could follow a tutorial which didn't work out so good even though that was a very good video very detailed I am not skilled in the wig area I am not a wig spurt I know wig spurt that was just brilliant okay guys so I'm done struggling um, as you can see, I did not leave the two front pieces out like I intended. That was the whole point of getting a wig with the two little colored pieces because that's kind of trendy right now and it's so, super, super, super cute. But I could not get it to, I, I just, I got a curling iron instead of a curling one and I still tried to use it and I just, I don't know, like, I wasn't having a fun time with the hair. I was kind of struggling because... I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like super frizzy and it's not just because I like messed it up a little bit but it's really frizzy like look at this it's a brand new wig i don't think it should be doing it i know it's colored but i'm a little bit concerned like it's look as i comb it out it's shedding like as i comb it out it's just it's shedding it's shedding it's shedding i know it's colored but i'm i'm concerned about that it's, but yeah that's it i'm done struggling i'm done struggling with it uh i tried my hardest i'm just not a wig installation personnel I am more of a wear my natural hair and twist around the house and everywhere I go person. Like I literally went to a birthday party yesterday and I wore my hair with my twist. I didn't even do a twist out. Like I literally have my twist up and I just put them in a bun. I didn't match it a little bit so they wouldn't look as bad, but that's all I did. And I still look cute because my outfit's cute so nobody's paying attention to my hair. <laughs> but I really need to do better and I'm trying to do better, which is why I did this video because I was trying to learn how to do these things when I go to college and I'm on my own so I can know how to do my hair but I'm just gonna have to pay to get it done I'm, I'm it's just not for me <laughs> but thank you guys for watching I really really appreciate you if you've actually made it to the end of this video I'm gonna try to cut some out so it's not as long but if you made it to the end I appreciate you I love you make sure you have the post notification bell on so go ahead and click that bell so I can make more videos. Let me know if you want me to do reviews and stuff like that. Because I love doing that. So just drop that in the comment. If you have a certain brand that you want me to review. Or anything like that. Or any video you want me to post. Just let me know in the comment section below. Give this a thumbs up. Because I did try. So I deserve an A for effort. Didn't turn out good. But I still tried my hardest. So make sure you like this video. And goodbye.